Next up is a way to cheat without feeling the guilt. Hi, Sharks. I'm Nancy Kalish from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm here asking for $400,000 in exchange for 10% of my company, Rule Breaker Snacks. We make delectable, better-for-you brownies and blondies. So, as chief rule breaker, it's my job to break some rules. Like, who says you have to feel guilty just because you eat an indulgent snack? You don't, if it's one of ours. How do we get away with it? Well, let's examine some typical ingredients in brownies and blondies. Take eggs, for example. Oh, <laughs> there are no eggs in rule breaker. And butter? Oh! There's no butter either. <laughs> In fact, no animal products at all. Sugar? Well, there is some sugar, but not too much, and it's not our first ingredient the way it is in some other so-called better-for-you snack brands. So what is our first ingredient? It's chickpeas. <laughs> yes, beans. But Rule Breaker snacks are so chewy and delicious, you'd never guess. Being 100% plant-based is better for the planet and better for us. But there are some rules we never break, such as those that keep our snacks safe for school. So Rule Breaker contains no nuts. Oh. <laughs> In fact, none of the common food allergens. And no GMOs, no preservatives, but they taste absolutely incredible. Look at all those big chocolate chips. <laughs> Who wants to come break some oh. rules with me? <laughs> Please dig into the samples Good. in front of you. You've kept you have too long. deep chocolate brownies, which are like fudgy hunks of heaven, studded with chocolate chips, chocolate chunk blondies, mm -hmm. which are like soft baked, chewy chocolate chip cookies, birthday cake blondies, mm. which have white chocolate chips, then peanut or chocolate chip, which tastes like peanut butter, but it's nut free. Now let's see how this goes. Ready? Okay. This, I am the I'm ultimate you, connoisseur Kevin. of this kind of <laughs> cookie song. Wow. They no, really taste delicious. I thought they were going to taste you. like sand. They taste pretty good. <laughs> Very good. How are you getting that hint of peanut in there? Well, I, if I really told you, I'd have to kill you, but I'll give you a hint. <laughs> we use some um, uh, sunflower butter, ground up sunflowers, and a little other magic by roasting our chickpeas in a certain way that brings out their natural nuttiness. You know, I, I mean, wow. Then it says this is 250 calories. Yeah. What would the normal cookie around this size, with all the bad stuff in it, uh, <laughs> be around? Well, it's like at least, you know, 300, 400 no, calories. No, Nancy. I mean, what? <laughs> not for this size. It's not going to be 300 plus calories. It's probably going to be 190 calories, some a little bit more, some a little less. So where is the advantage? Well, OK, so one huge advantage is being allergen-free and nut-free. OK. Another thing is being 100% plant-based. It really is better for the planet. Chickpeas are a superly sustainable crop. They use really little water. How did you come up with the idea? <laughs> All right. So um, I actually never thought I would be in the food business. I was in the magazine business for a long time. I was an editor at Cosmopolitan and a bunch of other magazines. I wrote a bunch of books, like Nice Girl's Guide to Sensational Sex, some other books. <laughs> <laughs> and then I became a health journalist. And so I had interviewed literally hundreds of doctors, nutritionists, dietitians, and I knew exactly what to eat to be healthy. And I have always had the worst sweet tooth, and I just decided for myself, I was getting a little tired of being a journalist, frankly, so I actually thought to myself, how hard could it be to start a food company? Oh. <laughs> I'll do that. It's brutal, really, and something- That's an understatement, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, where did you start selling your cookies? I booked a booth at one of the huge trade shows and managed to get my cookies made and found a co-packer and got my packaging done. And luckily, I was discovered by the buyer for Whole Foods Northeast. Mm, nice. And only problem was that our products at that point have a, had a very short shelf life and they had, now they're shelf stable, but they had to be delivered frozen 
to Whole Foods. Whoa. Oh, wow, that was hard. Yeah. And the distributor had made a mistake and stored them at room temperature. So they uh, arrived, the first order arrived at 40 Whole the food Foods industry, in the Northeast. Right? Spoiled! Oh. <laughs> You're laughing oh, about my. it now. Oh, yeah. I almost fainted. And luckily, I had a huge stash of product at my house. So I just got in my car and I started driving to Whole Good Foods for you. all Good over. For you. <laughs> and ah. pulled the spoiled stuff off the shelf and then replaced it. That's called detailing. I'm surprised you weren't arrested for detailing. shoplifting. I know, right? How long ago was this, Nancy? This was about four and a half years ago. Nancy, that's a crazy chicken story. <laughs> so how much have you sold to date? So our lifetime sales is 1.3 million. Okay. 1.3 million? Yeah. Nice. Great. Last year we That's did nice 500,000. Did you make any money on the 500,000 last year? No, we're still not profitable. We are on track to break even next September. We got into the biggest supermarket chain in the US. How was the sell through? We sold, I think, 70,000 units last year. Wow. What does it take to break even? It's going to take till we reach about $1.7 million in sales. How much money did you put in the business? So my total investment is I put in $1.6 million. Oh, oh my Lord. Lord. Ichi, wow. shut the oh, door. Was this your own money? Yes. Wow. Did you spend that on? Oh, that's million? a lot of cookies. No balls, no babies. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Do you have any other debt? As well? Uh, I do. I have an SBA loan for 123000 I also have um, a home equity line of credit, which my I draw God. on and then pay Oh, back. my You're... goodness. So Ooh. how much home, how home much... equity credit have you used up for this? Uh, right now, it's about 600 I guess. Oh, oh. so you're in for 2.35. What is your biggest expense? Are there any large singular yeah. expenses? Trade spend, basically. Promotions, um, couponing, slotting oh, fees. Oh, you fell sucker for that. Okay, I'm sorry. They were oh. making you put- packer issues. Oh, um, I'm so sorry you went through that. Which are solved, by the way, but yeah. Okay, and let's talk about your margins, right? Because there, there's 53%. a- 53%. Okay, wait. One of these, the retail price to a consumer is- Is $1.99 to $2. 99. What do you sell it to the grocery store for? 105. $1.05. And it costs you 50, 50, uh, 50 cents. So you got to sell a boatload yes. of cookies in order to do this. Oy. You're right. Your margin is oy, more oy, like double the, uh, oy. Your, your actual margin is probably about 15%. You could ship this directly to the customer and forget about grocery completely. That yeah, model can actually online? exist. We had already been selling on Amazon and doing pretty well every month. It was 35% of our business in January. Now it's 55% wow. of our business. You know, um, I wasn't crazy about the flavor profile. The peanut butter one tastes like a protein shake a little bit. I mean, I understand you have to sacrifice flavor for the health, but you don't want a partner who is not really in love and obsessed with the product. I can, this yeah. is just not for me, so I'm out. Okay, thank you, Damon. I think you've done an amazing job. You've created a product that I happen to really like. But I just think it would be a really, really long time before I would see my money back. I will be a customer, but unfortunately, I'm out. Thank you. Well, I want you to know I am very open to a loan. Yeah, but, but, but Nancy, look, yeah. look, you're, you're repeating your same mistakes. You're going to have to go against your home equity loan some more, mm -hmm. and that is terrifying, and it should be terrifying, because effectively, you're putting your home at risk now. And so please be careful. Right, but for those reasons, I'm out. Okay, thank you anyway, Mark. What I love about you, and I'm sitting here dying to give you money, is you're so damn happy. I would be miserable. Well, I'll tell you, Barbara, honestly and truly, uh, my eyes pop open every morning at 5 a.m., and I cannot wait to get to my desk. Good for you. But that same optimism is what got you into the debt in the first place. You're asking all of us to buy into a debt more than a business. And well, so for that reason, I'm out also. OK. Thank you anyway, Barbara. Your business is worth between 800 and a million dollars, OK? So to so give you uh, $400,000, I'd have to get 50% of it. This is uninvestable as it stands right now. If you only want to sell 10 or 20% of the business, that's worth 100 grand. The rest you have to take on is debt. I mean, I'm feeling guilty just thinking about that <laughs> offer. And I'm sorry, Nancy, I just, I can't go down the journey with you. Um, I'm sorry, I'm out. Okay, well, thank you anyway. We wish you the best, Nancy. All the thank best. You. Good luck with it, Nancy. All right, all right, bye, guys. Good luck. Thank Congratulations, you. Nancy. 
So I didn't get a deal, but I got a lot of great advice from the sharks, and I'm certainly going to take it. They talked about focusing my business online, which is how I want to go, and it's a clear path forward to success and breaking the rules far into the future. Rule Breaker is where chickpeas go to die.